Hi, I'm Yoga Sibulo and I'm a seafarers. If you're new to my channel, my videos are about the life of a seafarers, when on board and also when on vacation. It's all about what we do, how we do it, and how we're able to withstand this very challenging job. If you are a seafarers, a relative of a seafarers, and wanting to become a seafarers, you are in the right channel. If you are just curious about the art, please watch our video so you will learn more about us. We will make educational and informative videos with regard to marine engineering and navigation. Okay, good day guys. We are here with my second engineer, Galgen and my uh, electricians, Jan. So what we're doing here is actually we have a problem on our uh, accommodation aircon. This is uh, one of the uh, hacks that will help you because we are trying to troubleshoot the problem. At the moment, our aircon are kaput. <laughs> so mean to say that we have problem with regard to the operational of our aircon which is uh, it's keep on stopping because it's a, a short cycling because of the uh, low pressure alarm so it continue to stop and we are not able to run continuously the aircon so what we're going to do now is check any possibilities uh, why these uh, things happen uh, for sure we cannot able to recover the prion on the system that's why we are trying to do this we are trying to take out remaining gases on the system so we are able to save what we can we have the recovery to bring it inside the our bottle our recovery bottle so at the moment uh, you can see uh, on, uh, we are taking on the gas side it started with the uh, 18 and now 19 is coming up so it's good that we able to pick up something to save the prion okay so the troubleshooting what going to do is we will try to check if the expansion valve is uh, the real cause of the problem because there's not, not enough uh, prion to return on the system that's why it's uh, we keep on alarming on a uh, low, uh, low, low alarm pressure with the uh, always short cycling all right so again we will keep you updated if what we able to find out with this problem so so this is one of the important machine to recover the prion on the system this uh, refrigerant recovery system And this is the recovery battle. Alright.
found out that uh, there's a possibility that the the diaphragm on uh, expansion valve are already damaged because of the actual position when we take out the expansion valve of the of the refrigerant system uh, it's not actually uh, uh, not actually on a normal setting which is uh, should have been a uh, have a gap So there's a big possibility that the expansion valve are are not working. That's why the low pressure alarm are keep uh, on uh, alarming, and then the compressor uh, are being shut down. Huh. Okay. So since the diaphragm are uh, damaged, so we will try to use, and we don't have spare, we will try to manipulate the opening of the expansion valve by putting uh, insertion of the. A washer so when put in the housing uh, it will automatically open without any control so we will try After the installation of the expansion valve with the washers inside, we will be trying to uh, again vacuum the system the, on the gas side in order to uh, take out the air on the in the system. So we will be using the vacuum machine for taking out the air.
berhenti lah
Okay. So we therefore conclude that the trouble that we encountered is on the expansion valve. The expansion valve are not uh, working anymore as uh, it should have been damaged. So what we do is we just put uh, uh, three pieces of washer in order to uh, remain open the expansion valve to, so that uh, it will, the flow will continue. Uh, it's good that we're able to fix the problem and the uh, crew will be uh, happy because uh, now it's uh, become colder in their accommodation. Thank you gentlemen. Thank you for those guys who have been uh, doing their job, the second engineer and the, the electrician. Kawai kawai kami. So I'm going to conduct leak test for the refrigerant.